Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a cool utility for macOS called AirBuddy because, you know, on iOS, we're hooking up something like uh, the PowerBeat Pros or your AirPod Pros, uh, Air, whatever, all those headphones that Apple makes um, that have the H1 or H2 chip in them is really nice on your iOS devices and without AirBuddy, kind of terrible on macOS. Or not as cool as it could be anyways. Before we dive in, a couple ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, take one of my courses, Tick Tick, Time Blocking, and Zellcasting. Probably won't be out by the time you see this video, but it's getting really close. Finished the script this morning. Anyway, buckle up. So what is everybody? Let's start by grabbing the everybody. Oh, we're going to just search for it. Everybody, let's open it. So it's an app here. And what it really does is pretty simple. All it's going to do is make working with your uh, H1 enabled headphones much nicer. So I'm going to open up my PowerBeat Pros. Oh, and they're showing up on my iPad. So let's just close that. Let's try this again. It's not nearly as cool now. Open up my PowerBeat Pros. There we go. So now you can see Prince Charming because I don't even know. I think I set my wife's phone up to call me that once and now it just migrated over to mine. Prince Charming's PowerBeat Pros. You can see I have 98% and 42%. And so this is not native Mac OS. This is AirBuddy and I pop them and put them in. It gave me the power on each one. I can stick them in and currently connected. That's really it. It is an inexpensive app. And that's what it does. It has a few other things where you can do proximity. You can set your devices, um, right? You deal with your audio a bit. And there's some advanced settings. I don't use any of that. I just use it for like the basic stuff that you already saw. And if I open Firefox, we can see that. If I could type, everybody, I found it through upgrade, the podcast upgrade from Relay FM. This is the site. Just go in, buy everybody. I already bought it. It's like, it was $13 Canadian for me. Yeah, $13.05 Canadian. Cheap or inexpensive, excellent value. Honestly, Mac OS should be doing this. I hope it doesn't get your lock because I, you know, like supporting developers. But the fact that I can, instead of having to go up to my sound and find the device that I want to do, because I have a lot, as you can see, just open it up. There you go. Open it up. There you are. Right there. That's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell. And YouTube will probably never let you know something happened, but they tell you they will. Uh, other ways to support the channel is number one, to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take one of my courses, like my course on TickTick, Time Blocking, or Zettelkasten is coming for this video, because this is an early release video. Have a good one.